slavery was introduced when they brought the, the uh, Indian people here. That was, then, that was when slavery was introduced. And then it included the blacks. So slavery wasn't good. I mean, I, I don't agree with slavery. And I don't want to elaborate on that because I know the history about that. So I don't, I don't like slaves, even up, to, up until the, that's my opinion. My grandfather never talked about slaves. That's why that was a, a very quiet subject. No, we never talked about that. You see, what I what I'm talking about slaves was what I learned in school. But we never talk mentioned slaves in the house. My grandfather was a wood chopper. He used to chop wood, and he came home with trees on his shoulders. He was a big man. And he used to be a red skull. Every day, hot cold, that never out of the red skull because if he came across the tree, he used to pick up that, put that, fold the red skull, put it on his shoulder, and put that lump of tree on his shoulder, and he brought it home. Now, our job was we had a big yard, and we had that saw horses that you put your trees in, you cut it up, we had to cut it up, we had to clue it. That's why eat it in half and we used to sell wood. And we used to, my grandfather made a garden. We had we used roses, carnations, everything. We were selling good that was our living that was our living. Wood and flowers. And mostly weekends. People, we used to make bundles of a hundred, and we sat, as I said, sat, just put it outside the gate, and people, even European people, used to come around and collect by the wood. That was our living. When I come home from school, I had to make the wood and chop the wood and all that. That was my job, and then I had to do homework. That's what. And uh, we were brought up very, uh, I mean, how you call, how can you say that, stringent, understand? We couldn't step out of line. Even I myself, I remember one time I was up at six years old, and I bit, we had, I fought with another boy and I bit him, you know, and I got the hiding of my life, you see? And uh, you know what, that, that I had one more after that, and I never had one after since. I mean, because I know what discipline is. And uh, I mean, I could have been a, a gangster or anything, but no. You know, that hiding that I got kept me on a straight and narrow. And I always tell my children about that. Because. Uh, I'm a father of four boys and one girl. Well, they're all married now. But when they were young, I used to eat them. That's, that's, how, we, that's how I brought my children up. Is that? No, we shouldn't be embarrassed about the heritage because uh, I think slave is slave. If you look down to it, if you come down to floor level, is they that built the country. <laughs> I, I am proud, as an individual, I'm proud of my surname. And I mean, from what from what we were until now, I mean, I've excelled. Understand? Because if I were there, if I stayed from, the, I would I wouldn't been here today. I had to better myself, and I don't want my children to to be like me. I want them to be better. Understand? That's why I we as. I'm as a grandfather and their mother and their father trying to give them more. Understand? They, his father, my son now, you see that toolbox inside. He's going to pause that now as a tool maker. My Frau, as in the end, not for a word, 
Dan sê sê, ek is missies my, ek is gedruk en getuk te binnen in die trogatorie. Sê, because she was proud of her. So, nee. Because she was automatically, if she's proud of her, she was proud of her husband as well. So, the water got out of her, she was also on the farm. Understand? I took her out of there. And I looked. Not just me. I met the man from Boosie. I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God. You see? Because they be all. Understand? I was not hoogmoedig nie, maar net ek het daar onder vandaan, we came from the ashes, and we came up, God loved us up, loved us up, I mean, daar is ek vandaan, 